Hey everyone, welcome back. So we are in the part five of the transformer tutorial. And previously we talked about you're at a good stopping point and you are using this code here to push your pre-trained transformer model onto hugging face cloud environment. And then you get this unique URL so that you can verify your model artifact as well as the architecture. So now that your weight is up there, the model architecture is up there, what if you want to load it back? What if you want to continue to train your pre-trained transformer model, and then you want to make it better? So in this episode, we're going to dive into how to load the model back. So assuming that you have this URL ready and that it's an actual model artifact up there using our package, then what happens next is you can use the code provided in our readme tutorial and then you can simply go to the code and paste it in here. This code will load the model back from Hugging Face Cloud under a particular account name and model name. And then it will compile it for you as well as loading all of the tokenizer using the JSON config. So this hopefully make your life easier in a way that you can run the code and then you can directly train your model. So let's run the code. What it's going to do is it's going to download the model artifact, such as the Keras model, the tokenizer, the vocabulary, things like that. And once that's done, you can then continue to train, right? All you got to do is do a dot fit. And then for the sake of transparency, I actually call it pre-trained transformer instead of just transformer model like previous episodes. So all you got to do next is simply do a dot fit and then you can train your model. So we can do five more epoch just like that. And you'll be able to continue to train from there. So hopefully you like this episode. Hopefully this episode shares some light. And then last but not least, what I want to mention is make sure that every sentence model, every language model must have a tokenizer because tokenizer is unique to the model. Make sure that you have not just your weights, but also the architecture as well as the tokenizer config file. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like.